Omega Squad Targets is a short story written by Karen Travis that appeared in Star Wars Insider issue number 81 in March of 2005. Featuring illustrations by Robert Hendrickson, it is set at least one month after the First Republic Commando novel Hard Contact. Since a teen mentions that he had been in a back to tank for a month after being hit by a verpine shatter gun near the end of the previous novel. Omega Squad Targets was also included in the US release of Republic Commando Triple Zero that came out in February of 2006. However, it was not included in the Orbit imprint of that novel that was released in the UK and Australia. And I would have much preferred if Targets was included at the beginning of Triple Zero instead of at the end because it's set before that novel. So first, a brief summary. A group of terrorists has taken a senator and other civilians hostage on Coruscant, and it's up to Omega Squad to defuse the dangerous situation. Like most Star Wars Insider short stories, Omega Squad Targets is really focused on one key event, that hostage situation on Coruscant. Taking into account the number of illustrations scattered throughout, the story's really only about six pages, but there were definitely some good things there. The first is that the entire story is told from Phi's point of view, and Phi was one of the characters in Hard Contact that I felt like we got the least development of, that he seemed to be a jokester, a person who uses humor to cope with everything going on around him, but not really anything beyond that. So it was nice to spend a little bit of time in his head, see how he approached this situation here. And we not only see that, yes, he's usually in humor as a coping mechanism, but we also see where his humor comes from, or rather where a lot of his smart remarks originally originated from, and that's their training sergeant, Cal Skirata, who for some reason is on Coruscant here and is also here during this hostage situation. It was cool to meet Cal and to see what he's like because in Hard Contact we had a lot of people referencing him, what he'd said, what he taught him, but he obviously wasn't in the book itself. So it was cool to finally meet him and to see the person and not just the pithy phrases. Supposedly terrorists from Harun Kal have taken this senator and other individuals hostage. I say supposedly because as the story concludes, it seems to definitely have been something engineered by the separatists. Although as we know from Shatterpoint by Matthew Stover, the native people of Harun Kal are not very happy with the Republic to begin with. So not only do they have to figure out who the hostages are, but also save all these people. They send in a Jedi to negotiate, that Jedi is killed, and then there's a bomb, and Phi jumps on the bomb to save everyone else. I mean, we know from the beginning of the story that they got some upgrades to their armor. So if their armor can withstand a Verpine shatter gun, he's like, okay, should be able to withstand a grenade as well. And then when they finally rush in to take out the hostages, oh no, there's some trickery afoot, and one of the hostages is dressed up like one of the terrorists, and the terrorist is masquerading as a hostage. Their sergeant told them, you know, you gotta shoot anyone, but then it's like, oh, don't shoot me. So it ends on a little bit of a weird note where it's like, Fi almost shot their sergeant, but he didn't, but mm, interesting, interesting. So going into the meh front, I was like, that's an interesting choice to have the story end on not as much of a triumphant note as I would have expected to be like, boys, if it comes down to it, you have to shoot me. And then be like, don't shoot me. And then he's like, oh no, I almost shot the sergeant. Like, why? Why make that? I thought it was leading up to, to complete his job, he's gonna have to shoot the sergeant, but no. Whatever. Whatever. I, I guess it made things more dramatic. There's also the key pivotal part where one of the terrorists has taken the place of the hostage and vice versa, 
is that that hostage was from the corporate sector. But when the sergeant goes in and he's trying to let them know what's going on, he's like, oh, Corsec. And I was like, what does the Corellian police have to do with this? So I'm pretty sure that Karen Travis meant to say Corpsec because Corsec is a very different thing. But yeah, it was definitely a bit of confusion there where I was like, oh, is this like a, they're dealing with the situation, but Corellian security is also dealing with the situation? No, it's like a guy from the corporate sector. And that's why they were taken hostage to begin with, not because of the senator, but because of that dude. Just the abbreviation used was, not the right one and caused a fair bit of confusion to me, the reader. But on a whole, I think that Omega Squad Targets is a fun short story to read. It gives us a viewpoint into Fi's character. We sort of see a little bit of why he is the way he is, and also he's so enthralled by Coruscant and how busy it is and how huge it is, which is not really a side that we've gotten from any of the other clones up to this point. Although to be fair, the previous novel wasn't really set on Coruscant at all. It does have a small but pretty significant flub that threw me out of the story, and I'm not really sure what the point of the whole thing with their sergeant was where it's like, oh, you might have to kill me to carry out your job. But I will say that if you're seeing reading Triple Zero and your copy has this story in here, definitely read it before the second novel because there are several references to it within the novel itself. I'm going to put a link to a scanned PDF of the short story down in the description box because while it is included in the paperback copy, it wasn't included in the ebook that I got of Triple Zero. So yeah, if you want to check it out, it'll be down below. So next time I'm going to be reading the second Republic Commando novel by Karen Travis, Triple Zero.